Hey, is that a knock at the door? Oh, look who it is! Oh! <laughs> it's Emmett Hall. Yes! Oh. And Chris Goche. Hi, guys! Of the once uh, together, but now not together, but back together for one time only, Sack of Corn! Sack of yes, corn. the, the Sack once corn. defunct comedy duo known as Sack of Corn is now refunked. Oh, kudos. <laughs> awesome! Bring in the funk just yeah. for the season, the Christmas oh, well, season. holiday miracle. It's a... <laughs> exactly. It's not funny. It's true. It's a miracle. It's funny because it's true. And we come bearing <laughs> gifts. Oh, gifts, David! Oh, I love gifts. Oh, okay. Oh, animated gifts. Yeah, Abby, <laughs> you get none. <laughs> oh, oh, the letter D. A that chocolate letter D name. made out of Belgian chocolate. Oh, Ooh. finest. Belgium That's the good is known kind. for that. And the letter G. Graham gets the letter G with that Latvian for... chocolate. <laughs> <laughs> Finer than Belgium. <laughs> is it? Is it? And ah, uh, spirits. Ah, it's a hacker. For sure. Sure. They sure. were on special. <laughs> <laughs> Two bottles of... Uh, it goes to your, your Christmas market. Mm -hmm. It's a German beer. It's, I'll, I'll return it tomorrow to the Christmas market. <laughs> and there's two extra Christmassy things in the bottle. Oh. Oh. Oh, canes of candy. Oh, oh thank you, Emma. Yum, yum. How Season's greets. And Chris, I assume. Thank well, I you. Assume this thank was you. Of course, the candy the canes were mine. Ever. And actually, Abby can have some of the candy cane. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You can have some. Okay. Sack of corn. Sack, Sack of, of corn. Now, the reason why we are here is because eons passed when we were... Many moons ago. We barons, we, uh, we had written a Sack of Corn Christmas pageant, um, and... The, the group split before we could ever mount, mount the production. And, uh, Back now. Yeah. For about five more minutes. <laughs> for as long as this uh, <laughs> wonderful Christmas pageant will It'll last. be good. It'll be good. So, and we're going to get some help from all three of you. Okay. I cannot yep. wait. Um, without further ado, we now present the production, Sack of Corn's Christmas Pageant. <clears throat> Glad tidings to ye. And Yuletide greet tidings. Every year comes around, but once a year to this tiding time. A Wenceslas time that was sails to this very spot. Where west meets east in gay apparel. The, the Weast Pole. Pole. Did you know that an olden time tiding tale was brought to being in the Weast Pole? Yes, I did. Let us regale you with the story of how this first tale of seasonal orientar came to be. We hark the herald all the way back to the hearth of the story, to the capital of the Weast Pole, Bethlehville. <laughs> <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. It's a merry time in the, the Weast Weast Pole. Weast Weast Pole. Weast Weast Pole. Ding dong, ding dong, ding. Dong. Ding dong. I'm the mayor of Bethlehemville. My name's Saint Nick and I spread goodwill. Here you go, have some. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong. I make the stockings because I'm the baker. Hot out of the oven, so don't you manger. Ding dong, ding dong. I'm the local chimney sweep. I sell matchbooks in the street because I'm a shoe shine boy. <laughs> ding dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Tis the season, so get your fill down in the Ville of Bethlehemville. <laughs> Ding dong, ding but dong, just ding over the horizon dong, strode a strider dong, quite lost, dong, dong, hefting his bindle through the snow and the frost. I've wandered off the path. I've lost my way. I'm cold. I'm scared. I'm Chris Goche. Ding, ding, dong, ding, ding dong, dong, ding dong, ding dong, ding dong. Ding dong. Ding What's dong, this? Ding As I crest dong, this hill, ding now ding entering the Ville of Bethlehemville. Ho, ho, God rest ye. Oh, and God rest ye to ye as well. My name's Emmett, and I'm all the characters except the baker in this town. Mmm, <laughs> stockings. I sure could use one of those. I'm so cold and hungry at the same time. Why do you not go to the shop of our mayor, St. Nick? I'm sure he'd gladly help you if you help him make his toys for all the reindeers. Yes, he would. Which way does he yonder? Just follow that star, southwest of here, to St. Nick's workshop. Oh my goodness, thank you for the hark. So the wayfarer continued his travels through snow, whistling wassails throughout the Weast Pole. Then he approached Mayor Nick's shop. He plopped down his sack and proceeded to knock. 
God rest ye. Is that the toy shop of the door? Of Saint no, the door hasn't opened yet. Oh. On the door. <laughs> there we go. God rest ye. Is that the toy shop of Mayor St. Nick? God, yes. God rest ye, merry gentlemen. Yes, that is a shop. I'm one of the toy-making fairies of St. Nick. Yeah. Could you take me to him? Would you like me to take you to him? <laughs> oh. He's just through that decked-out hall. <laughs> oh, my, oh, me. So many toys, so many reindeers. My worker fairies are real dandy, but this workload will take its toll, surely. Then, puffter. I'm here to help, Mayor St. Nick. Excelsior! Any help would be radical, dude. <laughs> what do you have to offer? Oh, but what can I do? I mean, all I have is this sack of Kringle. Kringle, eh? What does it do? No, oh, it only seasons greets. Watch. <laughs> Excelsior! That is just what we need! For the reindeer's toys? No, well! I don't understand. What does my Kringle do to help exactly? Hey, what's your name? Chris. Chris, hey? Hmm. Chris Kringle. Well, Chris Kringle, there is much work to be done tomorrow, so I recommend a good sleep. So no trolling the Yuletide cattle, you hear? <laughs> okay, good night. So Chris lay for sleep in his jolly holly bed, where sugar plum eggs did nog in his head. But when the bell tolled o'clock on his clock, Chris Kringle awoke to a Yule time tide shock. Oh, Chris Kringle, it is I, the ghost of Santa Claus. <laughs> Let nothing you dismay, goodly apparition. I've come to grant these warnings three. I am but a Kringler. What use of warnings have I? Ah, you've answered the first riddle. For you must always follow the fa la 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 law. And what law is that, Santa's ghost? Why, the fa la 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 law states that you must place Kringly Cresh in the now, the nonce, and future past. <laughs> Your advice is heeded, Santa Claus. The morrow came round with a snowy red glow. And Chris readied Kringle for all the weast pole. For reindeers and reindoes and rain girls and rain boys. Chris sprinked his Kringle along with St. Nick's toys. So follow that star in a sort weasterly way. To join in with the reindeers. And, and celebrate, celebrate Christmas, Christmas Day. The end. Sing. Amazing. Um, hey guys. Hey. <laughs> Thanks for coming around. Well, that's it? What, what do you want? No. Oh. I just want to say, Chris, it was a pleasure joining you Thank again. Thank you. And may we never see each other again. <laughs> oh, okay. No, wait, that's, that's not Yeah, that's spirit. sad. Okay. That's okay. Uh, do you guys thanks, want to shake hands? Thanks for bringing me out. Um... Yeah, thanks. Hey, thanks, guys, for a showing Christmas up. A Christmas shake. We did everyone. a Christmas shake. Oh, yeah. Shake. 